Hello everyone, this is Ayat from Inspire and Ignite and uh, this is the second part of the interview which I conducted with Nick Hill who scored All India 4th rank in GATE 2011 for Electronics and Communication Engineering paper. All the interviews, all the parts of this interview are very helpful to the student and I wish every one of you go through with all parts of it. First two parts as I mentioned in the uh, earlier, the first two parts are dealing with how to prepare for GATE and the third part is how to write GATE exam itself. So without uh, taking much of time, I directly move to the interview, second part of the interview. There are a lot of uh, rumors about the, you know, there are a lot of publications who are making question answers, GATE question series, I mean, they take previous year questions and then answer them and then make a publication and sell in the market. And students are not aware of the like uh, their genuinity. So, is it like uh, what do you suggest about that? Like, do 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 they need to worry about it, or just take that those books and prepare from them? And like, uh, what could be the strategy for them? Uh, for me, it was actually a kick and idea. But uh, there were mm -hmm. there are so many errors. That's one thing. But anyway, the questions are very good, especially. Okay. In that RK cannot agree. Yeah. Oh, okay. But there are some errors. So that's that's one difficult part. Uh, we should know whether uh, it's an error or not. That's one important part. <laughs> this is what it is like. Few, few <laughs> smart students, you know, few, few smart students, they say like the answer is answer is wrong. So the average students, yeah, you know, they, they get confused like, oh, the answers are wrong in this, so uh, shall I study with this book or not? That's an important aspect. Uh, so, mm. in that case, either uh, we should be, we should have that discussion, okay, this is uh, wrong. Or otherwise, uh, he should have some mentor or some study, mm. uh, study group or some friend circle. To which, so, uh, okay, so study, can, you, you, you strongly yes. recommend, you strongly recommend a study group then for the students who are preparing for the gate. Yeah. Of course, uh, that will also keep them motivated, right? How okay, uh, How okay I have some uh, friends. Mm -hmm. uh, then he will think, okay, I have some friends who are also taking this pain of preparing for a kid. Okay, mm -hmm. then I will also uh, I will behave like them, uh, will study like them. How, <laughs> how, what, what do you think about the video lectures available on internet these days, like NPTEL and IITs and IASC? They are making some videos for students, right? Be I mean, uh, different subjects they are making. So, have you... Yeah. So, is it like a good idea to go through with them or like it is recommended like to go to go through only books or something like that? But one thing is that uh, now we have about uh, some five months to get right. Yes, true. So, so time is also critical. Yeah, if we have to build on our concepts and all, then surely we'll have to uh, go uh, go through NPTEL and all. But one thing what happens is that, as you previously said, suppose <laughs> if they. If they happen to get addicted to some subjects and we concentrate mm. only and devote time only to those those subjects then uh, it's going to be a problem otherwise it's very good actually i okay. had uh, made use of digital communication lectures and mm -hmm. uh, analog communication lectures and signal uh, signal processing mm -hmm. I have uh, the next question is like uh, now as you said like now the time is very short for the students and the students know it very well. So what should be the strategy for revising the syllabus? Because you know, it's like four years syllabus, four years subjects. Yeah. You have to revise everything from top to bottom to get ready for the exam. Yeah. So what do you recommend? How how and which books, they, I mean, which subjects they should start first and then go towards the end? And at the end, what should be the strategy? about uh, what subject to start, that depends on their priority also, right? Yes. Sir. So, uh, I, I think ma uh, mathematics is a very big subject, right? So, Math so many things in it. Mm -hmm. Then, 
the transmission lines and uh, electromagnetic array that was kind of tough for me mm-hmm. so i think they should start with the tougher ones uh, first yeah tougher ones first that's what mm-hmm. i think uh, so that uh, okay they can say like okay i am done with these things so i have only some more more to go and one one main thing is that uh this strategy should be like this that is you should cover the whole syllabus mm-hmm. and they uh, they should take notes and all and mm-hmm. one important thing is that uh, they should maintain one formula sheet or something mm mm-hmm. okay. like there uh, there there should be one formula sheet in which uh along with formula they should also uh, do some problems and uh, they could derive some tips from it okay that if we if i do one particular problem in this way okay i'll be able to save some time and uh, i'll get a uh, rich to answer very quickly and it's more efficient and like so such kind of tips along with formula uh, could be included in kind of uh, so uh, such kind of formula sheet and it, it will be very helpful even if they are going to have uh, our gate exam in next two hours or so in last mm-hmm. minute that will really come handy because okay. once we go through uh, the whole portions and all we will study then the revision will be very easy if we make use of the formula sheets and all okay that's it, nice it, it contains one right Mm. Actually, uh, I was having a formula sheet for any uh, for all my subjects. Oh yeah, yeah that's so nice. Yeah, f- uh, f- uh, firstly, I-, I finished my notes, and then mm-hmm. uh, using, uh, after going through after finishing one su- one particular subject, I made a formula sheet for that. Okay. And uh, did some problem. So and I then. Mhm. So is it Pardon? like? is it like you you take a subject first and complete it and then yeah. while while completing the subject you make the notes and after completing yes. completing the subject you make a formula list yes yes and uh, do you solve the questions immediately after the completion of the subject or you completed all the sub- syllabus of gate and then started uh, answering the gate question question answers i mean practicing questions uh during the preparation of notes itself uh i mm-hmm. gone through some related questions and mm-hmm. also i solved some general questions and also we have okay. to get some fair points for this also right okay but okay. later when i co- uh, covered those uh, topics also i i became more comfortable so that mm-hmm. uh, i could take those questions more efficiently how about uh, how about the general aptitude and mathematics Yeah as uh, I actually uh, read one book uh, Word for Made Easy by Norman Lewis. Mhm. Have you heard about that? Made for what? Word for Made Easy. Word for Made Easy. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ah, it's yeah. 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 so, so for uh, for general aptitude you you read that uh, Word for Made Easy. Ah, uh, the for that uh, it, it, it was uh, enough for me to build some vocabulary. Okay, and how about mathematics? Mathematics is like standard engineering mathematics, right? So, ah, yeah, yeah. Graywall and all those books. Ah, uh, actually, I didn't uh, prepare for this uh, math-related aptitude because okay, okay. that was kind. Of but for me but uh, anyway uh, i had gone through that book uh, r s gravel or something okay um, so how much time do you need to spend on uh, mathematics mathematics itself uh, which mathematics do you, uh, did you mean uh, that re- aptitude or I'm, yeah aptitude one see there are, there are three sections in, uh, the, the, in in syllabus right one is general aptitude where they ask about vocabulary and all those stuff and then afterwards engineering mathematics is there ah yes for uh, g- uh, general aptitude most of the questions will be basic right and uh, also one one thing is that uh, the uh, questions the uh, we, we may not have to go through the whole derivation part 
Mm. If one question is asked when they get exam, most of the thing can be directly got from substituting from choice choice okay. itself. So, mm. so that's one thing, and it depends from person to person. More, most of I think uh, the toughness of that part uh, is not that high. Uh, okay, in okay. most of the students will be able to handle it, but still. Uh, if they are not that comfortable, they can make use of textbooks like Ask Level. Okay, okay. So I want to ask you very important. And one thing is that uh, they will tend to be more uh, because it's kind of joy to uh, work with this kind of questions, right? So they will yeah. tend to focus away from other um, other major subjects and shift their focus towards solving only these things. Ah, okay. But at, uh, we have also. uh should take a note of that uh, it's 85 15 only so mm. our preparation should be like that okay so next question is very important and it will be very important your answer will be very important to the students too okay. i want to i want to ask you like one simple thing like uh, what was your what do you think what was your biggest mistake during the gate preparation I mean like if you if you get a chance to prepare for gate now you will not repeat that mistake for sure uh, one thing is that uh, we should not keep uh, things for tomorrow we should we should stick to one particular time table and uh, we should be done with uh, at least with our notes as early as possible so that we could start our revision and all mm-hmm. and uh, we should not keep anything for the day just before gate because okay for the gate we have to uh, attempt the question paper with full confidence uh, full of energy actually what happened to me was like i was full of uh, full of tension and actually the word of sleep that on mm. uh, that gate Uh, you, even uh, on the got, day pardon you, you got all india fourth rank right yes 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 so uh, what what do you do i mean like if if you know everything now what is the situation and how to tackle the gate and w- what you are going to get so how do you w- what do you do to go to number one place <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could I say. Okay. <laughs> so I mean like uh, <laughs> like like you said you said to me right uh, in gate 2010 you prepared only 2 3 days before the exam. Yes yes. and then after that you felt uh, that I was, actually, sh- I, i was actually having classes get uh, i said about one group now mm-hmm. that group was there in my college and uh, that group was active kind of active from uh, the third year beginning itself but i was not at all focus focus and they didn't study much they didn't do problems much and mm-hmm. i studied only on the, uh, yeah uh, two days <laughs> just two three days before before the exam mm-hmm. so you mean like uh, you you mean like uh, you need to be focused more focus you will be more focus for the get exam ah yes, yes. then uh, i note uh, uh, one thing that after finishing the notes uh, we should we should not think like uh, okay and not going uh, the anyway, way i have written the notes i have complete task of all idea i i need not my note that was be that that thing is wrong uh, okay. we should take the paper and we should go through each page of our note and uh, we should read it thoroughly and uh, we should take some more than all for memorizing and formulas and all and also we should have some sheet on the other side in order to do some correction study and all now Mm-hmm. We have to go through this process at least once a week so that most of the things will be there in our memory. And also, uh, this memory thing that is also very important. 
Okay. And once they are uh, done through uh, the fourth finishing part, you should uh, start uh, regularly taking these problems and all. And along with that, uh, we should uh, make these revisions and corrections. This problem, the doing part is very important. We have to do as much problems as we can. Mm-hmm. That's, that's true. So uh, now, like, we have very less time, like maybe four months left. So what what could be the strategy for them? I mean, how, how should they start preparing for the GATE exam? You said like before. You said like take the harder subject first and then complete it. But uh, you know, like four months and you have to complete almost like ten subjects, and you have to read everything from top to bottom, right? So what do you suggest them? Like, uh, do they need to start? Like, th- there are some books available in the market, like All in One, All in One Gate Exam, like Gate Preparation Guide or something like that. Is is that a good option for them? Or like. Do you, uh, do they need to spend more time? I don't think so, uh, because getting you to only the question patterns and doing something won't be sufficient, because there may there may be concerns apart from uh, the things that are asked from the book. Mm-hmm. One thing is that uh, no, the the time is very uh, limited if 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 they are yet to start uh, uh, begin, uh, they are they are yet to begin on their note and all. Mm-hmm. Once that uh, they can make use of their seniors not so and then uh, make use of those notes and also uh, there may be study materials from. Uh, Ace or something, Ace, if they're having seniors. Yeah, yeah, or they can... You mean like collect Pardon? the notes, collect the notes as much as possible from different sources and read them and solve the question yes. papers. Uh, solve the question papers yes, as yes, much yes. as they can. Uh, yeah, uh, they should go through something. Yeah, otherwise, uh, the, the, uh, some, some, there will be surely... Above uh, uh, those are uh, uh, those beats and so we should go through theory and then we should bring that into practice by solving problems. Okay, so now let and me ask. Let me ask a few questions. Are, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if if, if guy is going to start the pressure right now, I think uh, it's better to start with an easy subject, right? Otherwise. Uh, he may be he may be waiting uh, wasting so much of time spending lot of things uh, spending uh, on uh, this hard hard subjects. Mm-hmm. So you you mean like maintain a balance between the time and the subjects and read the notes and then solve the question papers. Yeah, and also his current uh, status. <laughs> This was Nick Hill, All India 4th Rank, GATE 2011 for Electronics and Communication Engineering paper. Uh, And you were listening to him about how to prepare for GATE. Do not miss the next part which is exclusively dealing with how to write GATE exam.